Hello, this is Jared from Commit Quality, and in today's video, we're going to go over a new feature added as part of Cypress 13, which is called the Test Replay. And basically, what the Test Replay is in Cypress is it's something in Cypress Cloud that will allow us to basically efficiently debug failed and flaky tests which are run inside our CI CD pipelines. It basically will capture every test run detail that you want to know. Um, it'll allow you to replay in a kind of post-mortem manner. So it means you can inspect the DOM, look at network requests, console logs, console errors, so JavaScript errors, and look at how everything was rendered in the actual browser. Now in the past, typically we'd have to use screenshots and videos to debug on a CI pipeline. However, now this massive change means our debugging lifecycle is gonna become a lot easier in Cypress. So before we actually jump into it, I just want to show you the code of what's happened and how I've got these. So I've obviously updated to Cypress version 13. I go into the test, it's a very basic one. When I'm going to the commit quality website, I'm entering product two into the filter text box. I'm clicking the filter button and then I've got an assertion to make sure the product two exists on the first row. And then I also cause a failure where I look for a data test ID that does not exist. So this isn't on the page and I tried to click it. Now, what I've done is I've executed a bunch of these tests, some without this assertion and some with this assertion, just to show you the differences between what you see um, on the actual test replay window. I've got my project key set up and I've run it all through as you would if you were using uh, Cypress Cloud normally. So let's go back to Cypress Cloud and I'm going to open up this first test. And this first one is one I run in Cypress 12, just to show you what happens when you run in a version before 13. So if I hover over this, you can now see there's this test replay button and it's grayed out and you can see the disabled text says it's not available. It says it's not supported in Cypress 12, which is what I was using on this test. And it tells me to upgrade to Cypress 13 to use this. I've also clicked on this test and you can see it also opens here where you've got test replay is not available. And you can also get to it from the test results by clicking on it again for the test information. So there's quite a few places you can actually get to this test replay. So let's go back to my latest runs and let's go to the one that passed above just to show you what it looks like so i can do it from here i can see it's not grayed out i can click into it do it from here or once again test results and it'll open up this same slide out so if i just click test replay what you can see is basically what you see with cypress open when you're using the tool locally which is amazing the tooling is great so why change it but let's break down a bit of what we're going through then up here you can see you've got the test run number here if you're hovering into it you've got a bit more meta information metadata about kind of what commit it worked on when it happened all that kind of stuff what branch we're on here as well You've then got the actual tests or the location of where it lives. You've got Windows as our operating system and the browser being used was Electron 106. Now this is very, very important because test replay is only going to work with tests that were recorded using a Chromium based browser. So that would be Chrome, Edge and Electron, anything else and it's not going to work. You can of course report an issue, it's a new tool, it's version 13, you might find issues popping up with this, you can do it here. If I actually click report an issue, you'll see it just takes you to what's going on with it. You can add some screenshots. So, you know, got some feedback already happening with this. Now, I'm not going to go over this, but this is obviously the test steps of what's happening. You can scroll over it, see what's going on. You've got highlight and show where things are, showing the assertions is looking for all the good stuff. In this case, I run this test before I added the assertion that fails, which is why this one passes, of course. Going down to the bottom, we've got attempt. If you have retries on, of course, your test fails. So we have a flaky test or a test that fails multiple times. You'll see here multiple retries. And this is where the ease of debugging flaky tests in your pipeline is going to come into play because you could have your attempt one has failed and attempt two passed and you can so you can look back at the different attempts and go oh this is the flaky part i need to investigate that we have the test replay kind of option here where we can click the play button it'll start from start to finish you can choose where you want it to go and start from here as well all good basically just a nice kind of video recording of what's going on and as you see as i'm hovering over them it shows on that kind of timeline where where each step occurred as well. You've got the replay here. So obviously we're on one X, but you can slow it down as well to see what's going on. If you want to kind of watch it step by step, but in slowed, slowed down pace. And moving over to the right, this is where we talk about having the kind of network calls. So I can click on them. All of these happen at the first point. But if you click onto this, you can see it narrows it down to the test body step of where that network request occurred. 
in Canoe through and you can see them all. You've got errors that might occur, so we didn't have any in this case, but you've got all these that you can kind of filter down. Basically, what you could do locally, you can now do in the pipeline because of this test replay. And of course, we can filter by console logs and errors as well here. You've got an inspect option, and if I actually hover over it, it actually says here, just use your browser's dev tools to inspect elements. So I could open up on the page. So if I'm on Chrome, let's say we want to go to this part can open up the dev tools and we can inspect whatever we want to inspect it'll look exactly like it is in the browser so i'm just using chrome's native ability you've probably already seen a lot of this really when um you're working with just the cypress tool because it's very similar to be fair i'd, I'd assume behind the scenes it's all kind of based off based on this that's a happy path so okay you're probably not going to really want to look at these because what if something's successful you're happy with it you're not going to spend much time looking into it and let's go into a failing one so if i go into my latest runs click here and in this case i'm just going to hover over here and click the test replay button and now we've got more information so of course like you'd see in cypress open we have the step away failed with the exact same kind of error messaging really easy to read simple enough but let's imagine we had a more complicated test where we need to use this kind of test replay like i said if this test was flaky i could go to the different attempts i can go to two of course in this case they're all going to be the same because i'm forcing the failure but like i said you can change to them have a look and this will help you a lot with debugging those few things have changed on here so of course attempts have increased you can see it's marked up as failed and you've got the test run has also increased but you might see on the timeline that we also have this kind of red bar and this is showing you where the failure started to occur so you can see okay at this point everything was good but as soon as i start to assert something on the page this is where it blows up and causes me problems obviously you can look through the basic filter and kind of select where you want to see the failure but also you can just come down to the timeline and see oh this is red let's see what's gone on with this honestly i think this is a fantastic update to cypress it's something that's really been needed as well because you know previously looking at video screenshots or just stack traces can be annoying especially when you've got other tools like playwright out there which already offer these kind of things out of the box so really great update really really, really well done to the cypress team for introducing this for some reason you may not you might not want to use test replay and cypress has given you the option to choose if you want it as well so you could go into project settings over here and we scroll down you can see test replay and you can turn it off here so it means then that test replay is going to be disabled for this project and you're not going to have this option by default it's set to on as you have great as well if you do want to disable it you'll have to come in and and deselect this now one last thing i want to i want to go through so yeah this documentation is really good and we can kind of scroll through and see what things are going on with it there's a troubleshooting guide as well you've got some log notes definitely a really useful read through on this and i think a lot of what we covered in this video is probably in this documentation as well so it's definitely worth a read as always if you do have any questions please drop them down below a like and subscribe is appreciated i have also enabled super thanks so you can donate to me through that which helps with me continue 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 in these kind of videos and as always thanks for watching and have a great day